What is going on guys? Welcome back to a new video series on Firebase. In this mini course, you will learn a lot on Firebase. So you might be asking yourself, what is Firebase and why I should consider one? So Firebase is a tool set for developers to build, improve, grow their apps. These tool sets are services that developers would normally have to build themselves. But with Firebase, everything became so easy because developers no longer need to develop these services by themselves, but rather they can focus on the experience of the app itself. So you might be considering to build an app and you need to think of a lot of things before that. Um, how, For example, how do you manage your data and how often would you take backups for your data? And Firebase could actually provide a great data management for your app and they will take backups for your data on a daily basis and they provide a good security measurements for your data as well. And not just that, Firebase has a Firestore. This is a cloud storage where you can store your files, images, videos for your app in Firebase Store. And you do not need to think of integrating third-party services into your app such as AWS or Azure which makes your job a lot easier so once you have your app up and running on Firebase you should consider how to scale your app and Firebase provides a great scalability for your app because Firebase is a database as a service this means you do not need to think of upgrading your services once your app grows and you will not be charged when you do not have users and once you have large amount of users and usages and then Firebase will start charging you based on your usage and that could be a great opportunity opportunity for us to try new applications without thinking of how much money we should put in the beginning and what type of service do we have to purchase and what bundle do we need. Also, Firebase provides a great authentication system. This is where you can integrate a login registration system to your app and you can provide a third party providers as well, such as Google, Facebook and Twitter accounts so that you let your users to sign into your app without registering. They can log in with their Google account or Facebook account. So so once you have a large amount of users, it's really important to have some analytics. This is where you want to know how your app is performing and how many users do you have and how often do they use the app and all that. And Firebase provides you a great customized dashboard. This is where you can put your analytics there and you can track your app performance. And the last but not least, Firebase uses a real-time databases. That means you can have your app on multiple platforms for your Android application, iOS application, desktop application, and web application as well. So your data will be synchronized across all of these devices. And this will help you to create such complicated applications that requires real-time databases. And these applications could be note-taking apps or chat applications. It's important to mention that Firebase uses a NoSQL rather than SQL. So NoSQL is a non-relational databases, unlike a relational database SQLs. This is where we have predefined table and columns to store our data. However, with Firebase, we have documents. This is where you store your data and key value pairs. And this would help you to grow your database horizontally. And you can store a lot of unstructured data into these documents. And sometimes that would help you to have a better performance as well. And to show you how Firebase works, uh, it's really easy. You can create a project with one click, but I already have a project, which is authentication app on Android. So if you click on that, and this is how your dashboard will look like. You have have a development section you have analytics section in this course we will be only focusing on development section so if you click on authentication and now i can see my users i can i can reset their passwords disable their accounts or even delete their accounts as well and i can click on sign in methods in this case i only enabled uh, email password authentication however you can you can log in with your phone with your google account with your Facebook account, Twitter account as well. So if you click on template, this is where you can set yourself an email template for email verification and password reset as well. So once the user creates an account, they will be sent this email. This is where they can verify the email by clicking the link. And to see how database works in Firebase, we have normal database and we have real-time database. So if you go to real-time database, this is where we store our data. And as you can see, uh, each user have an age, an email, a full name, and that would correspond to the user's account uh, with a unique ID as well. And we can have rules to see who can read and write. And also you can manage your backups here and usages as well. And you have storages and hosting your apps and machine learning and a lot more. In the first part, we will be focusing only on authentication, how to integrate various types of uh, authentication providers and how to manage them in Android Studio. So guys, if this is your first time here and you want to learn mobile applications, web development, please consider subscribing and clicking on the notification bell. So that you do not miss on anything and that would motivate me a lot to create great content for you guys so without further ado see you guys in the next video